We know that Facebook Reels are exploding on Facebook the same way Reels did on Instagram. Especially with the decline of Facebook advertising, many business owners are looking for a lucrative organic alternative and Facebook Reels is giving them just that. But if you're struggling to see the same reach, views, and engagement from them that everybody else seems to be getting, then you're gonna wanna watch to the end of this video because I'm sharing six tips to get more views on Facebook Reels. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. Super quick before we get started, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the business growing videos that we put out every single week. All right, so we're gonna get into my top six tips on how to get more views on Facebook Reels, but first I wanna say if you're completely new to Facebook Reels or have barely messed around with them, you need to go watch this video first and then come back to this video. That is my complete guide to Facebook Reels with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make them. In this video, I'm sharing six tips to help you make better Reels and get more views. So let's jump in with tip number one, use original audios. I know we've all heard the tip to hop on trending audios, so we are starting off with a bang by turning that advice completely on its head. But it's true, you wanna use original audios because Facebook and Instagram both are rewarding original audios right now with a lot more organic reach. I think the reason is because they wanna encourage more original content. If you hop on a trending sound too late, you end up just being another video contributing to the noise at that point. By hosting original audio, you not only get that extra organic boost, but you also have the potential for your audio to go viral. What if your audio became a trending audio and people started making Facebook reels using your audio? You would be the original creator at the top of the page when people tap on the audio sound to see where it came from, which is awesome brand exposure for your business. Now, tip number two is to not waste people's time. Don't beat around the bush with your content. Give your audience value within the first millisecond of your video. People spend so much time just sitting and scrolling through their phones, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. If you don't catch their attention immediately, you can bet they're scrolling past your video too. So no matter if your reel is educational, entertaining, or a combination of both known as edutainment, don't waste time. Get right to the point or else you'll lose their attention. Tip number three is to write really long captions. The trick here is to create a video that points viewers to the caption. And while they're sitting there reading your long caption, your video is just looping, acquiring views in the background. Now you might be thinking, people don't read long captions anymore. You just talked about how short their attention spans are. This is true which is why you need to make the caption worth their while. Whatever you say in the video needs to really hook them and point them towards a caption that's so juicy, their curiosity won't let them scroll on without reading it. I shared a great example of this in a previous video, so I will quickly recap it again here in case you missed it. Let's say you're a personal trainer trying to obtain clients. You can make a reel that goes something like, this client went from this, a before picture, to this, an after picture, after making one small change in their routine. Read the caption to find out what it was. This will make people wanna read your caption to figure out what the secret to losing weight is. So you'll wanna make sure your caption is a little lengthy so that while they're reading it, your video is playing and looping in the background. Take whatever the wow factor is in your business, whatever that thing is that would pique your customer's curiosity and figure out how to make a reel out of it that would keep viewers on your video long enough to read the caption. All right, tip number four is to post frequently. If you want to continuously see growth and acquire views on Facebook Reels, you need to post consistently. Posting three times in one week and then posting zero times for the next two weeks is not consistent. If you need to, consider creating a handful of Reels in advance when you have time and then then rolling them out on a regular basis in order to give yourself some cushion before creating the next batch. Or if even that seems too daunting or time consuming, you can hire a company like Life Marketing to handle them for you. I'll put the link for our short video management services down in the description if that's something that you're interested in. But either way, don't ghost Facebook or your followers. 
Be present with Reels every day. Tip number five is to remove any watermarks from the video if there are any. The most common watermark I see is TikToks. Like if you're repurposing your TikToks for Facebook Reels, you may be uploading Facebook Reels that have the TikTok watermark on them, and that's not good. The problem with that is Facebook will intentionally kill the reach on videos that it sees has its competitor's watermark on them. So try to download your TikTok videos before you publish them so that you can save them without the watermark. And last but not least, tip number six is to post something your audience cares about. This is the one I see business owners struggle with the most. In tip number two, we talked about getting to the value or the point of the video quickly, but it's also important to make sure your audience even cares about the point you're sharing in the first place. Once you brainstorm an idea for the video, ask yourself why your audience would care to hear the message in it. Does it solve one of their pain points? Does it give them a route to accomplish one of their goals? Is it gonna make them laugh? Don't put content out there just to put content out there. Make sure your Facebook Reels are providing value of some sort to your audience. So tell me, I'm curious, how often are you posting Facebook Reels? And what kind of Reels are they? Entertaining, educational, both? Comment below and let me know. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell before you go, and I will see you in the next episode.